and you welcome to this VHF UHF channel and today we're going to talk about a little something that a lot of people don't use that you actually should and it's the limit search on these devices almost every radio scanner that exists has a way to do a search in a very limited frequency range on a lot of them it's called limit search um, others use that uh, different um, a different name on it for example the icom icr20 calls it edge search uh, basically it's programming a lower limit and an upper limit and scanning in there so what you'll want to do is for example say i want to just scan the amateur radio band uh, two meter well i'll put the lower limit at 144 megahertz the upper limit at 148 megahertz and what that creates is that now I'm scanning only amateur radio two meter band. Now you might say, why should I do this rather than have a wider search? Because you can zero in on a specific um, service. So for example, it could be, like I said, the two meter band. And by letting it search, well, you'll maybe you'll find out that there are repeaters that you never heard before that are there. Maybe you'll hear, um, you know, amateur radio operators that are actually uh, talking, um, you know, without a repeater, they're actually just um, talking, you know, from one hand to the other direct. Um, and, you know, maybe you'll hear other things that you didn't even know existed in, the, in that two meter band because you'll be searching only that little a specific area. And you know that everything that is listenable in there is related to the two meter band amateur radio. Another example, um, maybe you want to tune in the uh, railroad frequencies around roughly 160 megahertz or 161 megahertz. Well, you can create a limit for the railroad frequency band only and start, let it scan. What will happen here is all the signals you'll hear, you'll pretty much know that they're probably all related to the railroads. Also, you'll probably, if you leave it on scanning and the limit search for a while, you probably will hear frequencies you didn't even know had some activity on them because you were searching maybe too wide. So that means you were missing out when communications were there. And, you know, when you do it too wide, you don't know where you are in the frequency ranges anymore. So just pick a band, um, the marine bands, and go to that frequency range. Any frequency range that you have, um, you know, you might say, oh, I wonder what's, you know, available in that 900 megahertz, 930 megahertz. There's a mix of amateur radio and it says that maybe baby monitors and stuff like that. Just limit your search. Um, put the lower part in 900, the other part, the upper part in 930 megahertz. Let it scan just that small frequency range. You're zeroing in on specific items when you do that. And I am a big, big fan of limit search. So uh, sometimes I will limit it to a specific uh, service, like amateur radio, uh, railroad, and so on. Sometimes you might have it wider. For example, sometimes I will do a limit search um, on the VHF high band. So I'll put the lower part at 137 megahertz, the upper part or upper range at 174, and I'll let it scan through that and see what I am missing out maybe on some frequency ranges. You can even narrow it down, uh, and I did that so many times and found so many signals I didn't even know existed by narrowing it to 1 megahertz wide only. Okay, I'm going to scan today 150 to 151 megahertz, just 1 megahertz, and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let it do its scan there, and you leave it in the whole afternoon while you're doing something else in the background. And you know what? You'll be surprised, and maybe you'll find that, oh, look at that, that little 1 megahertz range has quite a few signals I didn't know existed, I never heard before. And it's a way to find signals. It's a great way to pinpoint things that you might be or want to listen in. And of course, take note of all of these frequency ranges. So limit search is available on almost every scanner possible. It is a great way to find more signals, either in specific services or like I said, just take a one megahertz chunk of the frequency ranges and it scan and see what you can hear. 
And it's a great way to enjoy your hobby. Hear more signals that you didn't know existed, and you know maybe you'll be able to um, program them in some you know memory bank for later use or listening at a later time, and see what and try to find out. You know, do a little detective work. Try to find out what is it that I'm listening right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and not, why not try the limit searches of your scanner radius.